my prince. I came here severally to see you. But Omenka wouldn't let me into the premises. And then to make matters worse, you were not even picking my calls. What did I do? I was not um, in the right frame of mind to speak to anyone at the time. Even me? Why did you hate me? Listen, Star. I have a lot going on in my life right now. My life presently is a mess. There are certain kinds of conversation that I do not want to have. Oh, really? Vera, what are you doing here? I thought I warned you not to step your foot into this place. Did I not tell you to stay away from my prince? What are you doing here? What is this supposed to mean, Stella? That's my guest. What gives you the right to decide who comes here and who does not? My prince, please don't do this. Don't do this to me. Why are you embarrassing me? Well, Why? You're embarrassing yourself. Stop it. <sighs> Vera. Greetings, my prince. Uh, well, I actually came to check on you to know how you're faring. But I didn't know I was going to meet this mad dog here. Did you just call me a mad dog? <laughs> Zara, you're referring to me as a mad dog. Stella, you were a mad dog. <laughs> Don't think I've forgotten what you did to me the last time because it is still fresh in my memory. And I'm going to serve you back in your own coin. I see you have grown wings. <laughs> I see you have refused to learn. Don't worry. <laughs> you see what I did to you the last time will be nothing compared to what is going to fall upon you oh, if you bring fail it to... on. Bring it on. Right. Oh, really? That's enough. Really? It's enough. <laughs> this girl is daring me. This girl Stella, is stepping. I am speaking. <sighs> Wait. Both of you cannot go crazy in front of me. How did it. you two gain access into this palace? Because I can't remember opening the gate for any of you. I get it. The picture is more clear now. It's very clear. So, you ladies took advantage of the fact that I was not at my duty post. Courtesy of a very serious running stomach that took me off my post. You seized the opportunity to invade this royal palace to cause breakdown of law and order. Oh. Now, listen to me. Both of you should leave this place right now before I lose it. Oh, shut up. Don't you dare come close to me. What did you just say? Leave here right now before I apply force. Don't you dare come close to me. Oh, my God. My prince. Ladies. My prince. I'm sorry. But we'll have to reschedule. Okay, so please. Take your leave. What? But, but my prince, I... Are you people deaf? Leave! Did you not hear what he said? Leave. My prince, it's me. You want me to come? <laughs> <laughs> this way. This way. This way. <laughs> Nonsense! How dare you! Omenka. My prince. Stand here. You are assigned to that duty post for a reason. But today, you failed in your duties. And that is why those two ladies walked in here unceremoniously, without notice. Omenka, I am aware that your job is very important to you. Very important, my prince. Very important. The next time this happens, I'm also aware that you know the consequences. I promise you it will never happen again. It will never happen for any reason. I am not sorry. 
The life of a man is full of worries, they say. But I don't believe that. Because oftentimes, what men worry about is what they're not supposed to think about. Who are you? And what do you want from me? Are you just concerned about who I am and what I want from you? Or are you going to think deep into what I've just said? You almost spoke from both sides of your mouth. Therefore, I am confused. I did not understand you. Nothing. Nothing under the sun is hidden. Every activity of mortals is known by the spirits. What exactly are you driving at? Open your eyes and you will see that which you seek staring at you. What do you think I seek? Wake up. Wake up from your slumber and hold the bull by the horn. With which hand will I take the bull by the horn? Though the hands look weak, but the time to use them is now. Open your eyes, look around you, and change your life. Amanda! Sir. My face. What are you doing here? I'm sorry, my face. I, I slept off. You have not answered my question. What are you doing in my room? My face, you had too much to drink when I brought you to your room. You ordered me to sing and sing for you until you sleep. I. I think I slept off in the process. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You can go. Thank you, sir. Good night. What kind of dream is this? Here, my prince, I am ready, very, very ready to marry your daughter. In a nutshell, I am ready to commence the marital right today. Uh, my prince, you know it's not possible. It's just not possible. You see, we have, uh, we have tradition to follow. <laughs> we must follow tradition. That's the truth. Besides, your father, the king, has not spoken to me about it. Because he should have spoken to me about it before now. That is the problem, Michi. That is the problem. The only problem I have here is my father. How do you mean? Michi, my father is doing everything humanly possible to make sure that Prince Desmond becomes the next king in waiting. Where he knows very well that no disabled person can be crowned the king of this great kingdom. My father hates me so much. And I, 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 I don't know why he hates me that much. Now, honestly, uh, Prince Uchen, I, I know how you feel. 
I know exactly how you feel. And um, believe me, I think uh, there is more to this than me. Uh, is that the truth? Right. Yes. Ichi, I, I need your assistance. I need your assistance on this situation. I promise you, I will do everything within my power to make sure that your marriage to my daughter holds before the next Oruku festival. Yes! So you can be crowned the next king in waiting. I will do that. I count on you. I will do that. Trust me. I... I, I have to be on my way now. Okay. All right. Oh. All right. Thank you. The mouthpiece of a woman. To what do I owe this visit? Oh no, Wu. The nasty command to the king of the land. I have come in peace. You have nothing to be afraid of. Hmm. You're very much welcome to my house, the mouthpiece of a Google. Speak, I am listening. The king had received the message of the prince's official preparation to perform the ritual rites that will lead to his coronation as the next king in waiting. The mouthpiece of a Google. We all know that Prince Desmond is here to meet the requirement. I am nothing but a messenger. I have done what I am expected to do. I have to take my leave. Nature. Uh, today is my happy day. Indeed, if you ask me, I would tell you that today is the happiest day of my life. Uh, what I have been longing for has finally happened. Mm. Oh, yes. And uh, let me officially announce to you that my beloved son, the heir apparent to the throne has finally found a maiden of this land to take as a wife. Hey, hey, good news. Your Majesty, I am happy, and I must say that everyone here is happy. <laughs> so, um, uh, if I may ask Igwe, who is this uh, lucky maiden? Oh, well, let me let the cat out of the box. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> uh, her name is Amanda Chikezie. She is the daughter of Mazi Chikezie, the late Panwain Tapa. Your Majesty, is it not the same Amanda that works in the palace as a maiden? Uh -huh. You are not far from the truth. <laughs> <laughs> that is wonderful. Huh? This is the best news I've heard in recent times. Yeah. You can say that again. <laughs> oh, <dear God. laughs> has remembered the chicken ah, family. Exactly. Well, well um, <laughs> preparations for the wedding commence as soon as possible and um, um, oh no uh, 
uh, you see to that. Son, mom, I don't want you to involve him in anything that has to do with your wedding. Why, mother? He's my brother. He's my blood. How can you call a character like Uchena your blood? <laughs> He's not your brother and can never be. Mom, we shall not continue to live with the pain inflicted on us by other people for the rest of our lives. I need you to forgive them. Just as I have forgiven them. I don't want us to continue to live like enemies as a family. Madaroma. And remember that father would not be happy if I sideline Uchen. That boy and his mother are evil. I don't want to have anything to do with them in this life. Not after what they have done to you. We don't even have proof, mother. We don't have substantial proof, mother. You told me when I was growing up that I must learn to forgive my offenders. Uh, let go and let God. And I'm telling you to avoid them in this wedding. Ah, yeah. Or anything that has to do with your life. I maintain my word. Who? Go on, Dajwa. 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 Take it easy. Huh? Please. Mommy, more. Huh? <laughs> Forgive. So you're trying to tell me that after everything you have decided to settle down with that low life? A girl without class? A nobody? A daughter of an ordinary palm wine tapper? And clearly you have a problem with that. Of course I have a problem with that. Do you seriously think I was going to let that happen? You're not even going to do anything stupid. But if you do, you know that you're going to regret it. My prince. Yes. Please, I beg of you. I love you. I love you and you know it. Please do not do this to me. I beg of you. I love you with everything that makes me a woman. Please. Well, I don't love you. I don't have feelings for you. How do you expect me to marry a woman that I don't love? My prince, please, please save me this shame and embarrassment. What am I going to say to people? All my friends and everyone around me are waiting for the day you are going to take me as your bride. Please, take out this embarrassment and shame you are about to bring upon me. I beg you with everything you respect. And please. I beg you to try to make sense of what you ask. For I have never been in a relationship with you. Neither have I ever promised you marriage. I have constantly made it clear that you and I are just friends with no emotions attached. Is that not so? My prince, you cannot do this to me. You cannot do this to me. As a matter of fact, you cannot marry that girl. <laughs> you can't! <laughs> Desperation, that's all that I see. <laughs> <laughs> One of the many things that I do not like about you. Desperation. You're desperate. And I cannot marry a desperate woman. You can't. You can't marry her. <laughs> I am not going to let you marry that girl. And if I do not marry you, nobody will. Be mindful of the words that you speak, Stella. For it might dig your grave. Alright, fine. Fine. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. But please, I love you. I, 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 I love you. Please don't do this to me. I beg of you. Please, think about it. Let's make this work. You can make it work. Please. Mom. Yes. He asked me to be his best man. 
on his wet wedding day. Hmm. Can't you imagine that? That boy has a gut. So I want to ridicule you uh, by asking you to be his best man after his traditional marriage? Mom? Yes? Who can't just fold her hands and watch him become the next king in waiting? We have to do something to stop him. I know that we have to do something to stop him, but the question here is, what do we do? Let's kill him. No! You can't do that. All fingers will point at us. No. So, That's not right. what are we going to do? Oh, I am Franca. Don't worry. I know exactly what to do. Uh, I will find a way to go around it. Don't worry. I, I, I trust you. You are my son. Trust me. Always. We will be fine. Oh.
how could you possibly do this to me after all that we went through together? If I had known that going to work in that palace would result in your getting married to the prince, I would have talked you out of it. I don't need your money. All I want is you. How do you expect me to survive this, this, this heartbreak? I showed you so many love signs. So many love signs, Amanda. Yet, you couldn't see any of them. I don't think I can survive seeing you in the arms of another man. I don't think I can survive it. Something needs to be done as soon as possible. Yes, something needs to be done. Your Majesty, see, this is Chia Amade. I don't like the way he behaves. Well, well I have warned him severally. He need to be obedient and useful in this palace for him to retain his position. Yes? Hmm? I'll be first to take a receipt. Greetings to the King and Queen of the Sacred Kingdom. Greetings, my beautiful daughter-in-law. How are you this morning? I'm fine, thank you, my queen. How are you, my daughter? Your Majesty, I am fine. Uh, how is your husband? Uh, where is he now? He's upstairs in the room resting. Uh, what you are supposed to be resting with him in the room? Your Majesty, I am going home to tidy a few things. I'll be back soon. Uh, is he aware of this? He's very much aware, my queen. Okay, please, don't stay too long. Oh, take good care of yourself, my daughter. It's okay, your majesty. Queen mother. Okay, thank you. I will. I'll be back. Very lovely day we have here. So lovely. Number is still saying switched off. I don't know. What kind of temptation is this? Where, 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 where will she be at this at this time of the night, mom? Uh, have you tried I, I, I reaching the mom? Yes, I, 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 I spoke to the mom who told me that she already already left and, and that she was on her way here. I just pray nothing has happened to her. Uh, because Amanda is not the kind of girl that gets late at night. Let us stay positive. You see, I believe she will soon come back safely. Yes, hello? Who's this? Yes, speaking. What? What? I, 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 hold on, mom. how is Amanda? Where, where is she? Just, just put her on the phone, okay? What are you talking about? I said put her on the phone. Okay, 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 okay. I, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm sorry. I, 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 I'm sorry. I, I, I'm just worried. Can, can you, is she okay? Is she fine? Hello? Please, can, can I, where can I meet you? Hello? Uh, who was that? Oh, what, oh, oh, oh. My mother has been kidnapped. Eh? What? The, the, the kidnappers just called me now. Uh, so, so, what do they want? They said they don't want anything. Hey! My king. Let me try, let me try and call back and see if they will take my call. Hey! Hey! 
Somebody switched off. Hey! Calm down, son. Calm yeah, down. Calm, calm down. Kidnappers. Kidnappers. Franca. So this is all you and your evil son can do. Eh? So this is it. This is all you could do. How dare you, Dorothy, call my son and I names? I am not here to banter words with you. I'm only here to tell you that the evil you plotted in the secret is now in the open. I am very much aware that you kidnapped my daughter-in-law. How can you accuse us of such a dangerous crime? Do you know the implication of such an accusation? You shut up, you useless thing. Uh -oh. Shut your dirty mouth. I allowed you people to get away with what you did to my son the last time. But this time around, you must pay dearly for your evil act. Your Majesty, tell these evil things you have in your house to fetch my daughter-in-law. Else, they should be ready to dance to the tune of the music I will play for them. Oh, Franca, do you and your son have a hand in what she is complaining of? Chinedu, how dare you ask me such stupid question? Hey, mama? Uh, you may call it anything you want, but I advise you, better remove the hand of monkey boiling in that pot of soup before it turns into a human hand. When the music starts, uh, you have yourself to blame. Mm. Oh, my prince, you're getting me confused. Listen, I'm not the kind of man that you think that I am. Release my wife, else you see the other side of me. Release your wife? I know nothing about your wife. I didn't do it. You seriously think that I kidnapped your wife? I mean, why would I want to do that? You made it clear that you would crush anyone who stands in your way. And if you do not get married to me. I agree I said that. But those are just mere words. I didn't mean it. I didn't. I just said those things. Stella, release my wife to me as soon as possible or be ready to face the consequences. I... Hello? Goodness. How on earth does he even think that I kidnapped his wife? Like how? You really have a hand in the kidnap of Prince Desmond's wife. Father, even you? You threatened of crushing down anyone who will stand in the way to having Prince Desmond as your husband. So I'm asking you for the last time, do you have a hand in the kidnap of his wife? Father. How many times do I need to explain it to you? I didn't do it! For crying out loud, I only said those things because I was angry. I didn't mean it! That's not the kind of person I am. Father, I'm disappointed in you. How can you even think that your own daughter would do such a thing? Are you serious? I didn't do it! I didn't do it! Stella, you have done a lot of things that I couldn't imagine you would do in the recent past. I didn't do it. I didn't. Do I even know you? How could you ask such a question, Mom? How? Why won't I ask you such a question? Do you think we are joking here? Do you think this is a joke? Mom, you are in a better position to explain what happened to Amanda. You and I know that you hate everything that has to do with Prince Desmond and his mother. You do not want them to smell that throne. Whatever I did, which is nice for your own good. So stop acting as if I am the devil here. We have to join force to win this race. So this game or whatever it is, we have to join force to achieve it. Desmond and his mother are not leaving any stone on Tom. Can't you see it? You seem to be scared, Mom. Is there something you're not telling me? Why me? 
Why always me? Why? Why me? Who have I offended? Why me? All the time. Why me? Think this is a mystery. Only the gods can unravel it. My king, you and I know that the gods have nothing to do in this matter. Franca and her son are responsible for this. And they must never go scot free this time. Father, if they are responsible, if they are responsible, Father, they will suffer. I will make them suffer. They are going to call on death, but it would not come to them because I would delay their death and make them live in pain for a long time, Father. Oh, my son, you don't say that. That's to your family. I think what we should be concerned now is for the police to come up with a lead. Oh, the gods to unravel the mystery. You can go ahead and say whatever you like. But all I know is that Franca and her son must surely pay dearly. Whoever is behind this father would suffer. Whoever is behind this would suffer. <laughs> My name is Ayon. I am the person that kidnapped the, the first person the prince wanted to marry. Huh? Someone in this palace paid me heavily to kidnap and threaten her not to marry the prince. The person that paid me for that very job still paid me again to kidnap the wife of Prince Desmond. Eh? Pretender. Um, and who is that person that paid you to commit such crime? Uh -huh. The king here paid me the sum of 10 million naira to do the job for him. Yeah? Which king? But, hold on, are you trying to tell me that my father, the king, paid you money to, to kidnap my wife? He cannot deny it. I had him on video all the while. He met me for this job. Hey, do. Now, now this, 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 this is unbelievable. Father, so, you are the one behind this act. They thought my mother and I were responsible for all that has been happening. Father, oh, will you shut your mouth? Idiot. You didn't know I did all I did, all for you. How will you say you did all because of me? Father, you never liked me. You didn't want me to succeed you. It, it was clear. Mm -hmm. Now tell me, why would I hate my only brother? Someone that made me about to break the promise I made to my older dying brother? Mm -hmm. uh, no. Brother, please allow me to take you back to the hospital. I believe you'll be fine. I was there for three good months and nothing positive happened. Chinedu, brother, there's no point. No point of going back to the hospital. Brother, brother, why are you talking like this? Why are you talking like somebody who has lost all hope? Use that money you want to spend on my treatment. Take care of the widows. 
girl fans. <sighs> and in it. But I, you are getting me scared. I don't understand you. You are getting me confused. I know. Chile, brother. My wife, Dorothy, is two months pregnant. You're the only one that knows about it. Apart from my wife and I. Take her in as your wife. Take good care of her. And if the baby is born, still take good care of it. Oh, brother, I don't want to stand. Why are you saying all this? Why are you saying all this, brother? Please stop. Please. She need to. She need to. What I'm here. I believe you will lead our people better than me. If my wife gives birth to a male child, please. And over the throne to him at the appropriate time. But if it happens to be a female child, please give her the best of training. And hand her over. To a man that will marry her and and take good care of her. Please, I beg of you. <sighs> brother, brother, why do you want to die and live only me in this world? Why? Just to me, please. <laughs> she need. She need. Brother, promise me you will do all I've asked you to do for me. I promise to do all you've asked of me. Please stop that. Don't do this to me, please. two days after I made that promise to him. So Desmond is not your biological son after all. Mm. Dorothy. Ah! My, 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 my greatest regret was going to Kite, huh? the native doctor in our neighboring kingdom, to prepare a sham that Got this month crippled. Ah! Oh. Uh -huh. uh -huh. You. Hey, you. She did a lot of Why, father? Why? 
Why will the one I call father be the one to put me through this kind of physical, emotional and psychological pain? All because you wanted to make your son, your biological son, your only blood, as you put it, your heir to the throne. What did I ever do wrong to you, father? I can't believe I still call you father. For you have always been my father. I was brought into your life as an innocent child for you to nurture. But all you have done is try as hard as you can to destroy me. What did my late husband, your only biological brother, not do for you? Where did he go wrong that made you do all that to his only son? Eh? Because no, no. Dora, see that. Hey, speaking. Oh, Biko. My love, please. Love, 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 you know. Please find a place in your heart to forgive me. It's the work of the devil, please. It's the devil that pushed me, please. I had no reason to do what I did. Please, I regret my actions. Forgive me. Igwe, you have to follow the session for further clarification. Hi. Because, you know, Uche please call my lawyer, Barristor Dumudu. Tell him that the commissioner invited me because, you know, no, no, no. Hey, do. You hey! move. Line with our tradition. I, Tabu, Wanko, the Onowu of Umwe's uh, kingdom. By the power vested on me as the Onowu of this great kingdom, I hereby crown you, Prince Desmond Alaribe, the king in waiting of Umwe's uh, kingdom. Oya Dreyman man eke. Ise. Oya Dreyman man ori. Ise. Oya Dreyman man afo. Ise. Oya Dreyman man afo. Ise. Nka bo fo. Ofi ye ji bido lo. Nna na ye ha ji e. Kwa ji ofo. I ya di kwa ko yubo ma na ko yubo ka chupu keke ifo ya nele. Yeah. 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 Yeah.